Hey, my name is Dylan and I do computer graphics. And in this video, I'll show you the quick process of popping out your text in Adobe Illustrator with the Blend tool. So I'm going to make the thumbnail for this video. Uh, I'm using 1920 to 1080 pixels as my artboard and have some colors selected that I want to use there right here. So let's start by adding some text. How to pop out your text. That's what my text is going to be. Before we can use the blend tool, we need to make the text outlined. So select your text, create outline or press shift control O. So to pop out the text or however you want to call it, bevel or extrude, I'm going to use the blend tool. What you need to do first is to copy the text two times. So we have three versions in total. We need one to be the top layer and two versions to calculate the blending steps. So from point A to point B, let me show you. I'm gonna demonstrate this on just one text and I'll, uh, I'll speed process the other text. Select your text and copy it by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl F and bring them up. Make another copy and bring it to the side downwards. Bring this one to the back and the top layer to the front with Ctrl Shift brackets. Now select the text and we need to make this um, that it's blend ready. Select the text, go to object, go to blend and make or alt control B. As you can see, there's one step right now. Select your text again and go to the blend tool, which is W and double click the icon. Now we get the blend options and instead of smooth color, we want specified steps. Here you can put in the amount of steps you want I usually use 60, 80 or uh, 100 sometimes. Let's go with 60 and press OK. Now if we zoom in, you can see it has the pop out effect. Now bring your top layer, select your top layer and uh, bring it down again so it will align with the text and change the color to let's say white. Now, if you want to, you can go into your blend shape, select the layer that's behind it and change the color to, let's say green. So you get like this, this gradient color blending effect. If that is what you want, go for it. Uh, I stick to black. I just really like the 2D feel. Um, it's nice and tight and that's it. For the other text, I'm gonna speed it up and I'm gonna show you my, uh, my final result. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials or free graphics. Till next time.